And now back to our team coverage, remembering Queen Elizabeth. Here we go. And local news reporter Leanne Motohong joins us live from the British consulate to, in Miami to tell us about a condolence book signing. Leanne. That's right, the building that houses the local British consulate is right behind me at 1001 Brickle Bay Drive. Let's take you to some video, show you what it looks like inside. Right there in the lobby, as soon as you walk in, you'll see a table yeah. flanked by two photos of the late Queen Elizabeth II. And in the middle there, a table with a condolence book and a couple of chairs. You can sit down, you can write your thoughts and condolences inside of that book. It will be available for the remainder of the week for anyone to sign. We did speak with a man who told me he lived in the UK for about nine years. He's originally from Spain and has fond memories of the Queen. We also spoke to the Consul General in Miami who tells us he's really been touched by the folks that have come in to sign the book. You know, she set up an example of loyalty, of love, of service, of dignity that, uh, you know, I don't think we have that many. And, uh, you know, as many shocked for having lost that, that presence and that example that we all have. Uh, it's been really touching uh, and moving to see the stories and hear from people how much she meant to them. Well, there's no line out the door or anything like that, but there's been a sort of a steady stream of people coming in every few minutes. In fact, just as we were setting up to go live with you, a few people asked us whether that was the right building. So the interest is definitely there. The people that are coming to sign this book really having some sincere, authentic thoughts about their time uh, under Queen Elizabeth II's reign. Some people have direct ties to the UK. Others are just folks from right here in South Florida who came by and wanted to put their thoughts down on paper. Again, they're open uh, every day this week from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. right there in the lobby. You can come in and sign the condolence book. For now, reporting live in Miami's Brickell neighborhood, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.